USU uses the Internet. The Internet uses USU. This network visualizer shows the remote locations of all the current Internet connections to USU. This visualizer is early alpha code. It is not yet ready for, to release. When I first saw this visualizer, I was amazed at all the places that connect to USU. This is monitoring live data. It's a Monday evening at USU. Each of these connections has its own motivation, its own goals, its own purpose. In my early days at security, my tendency was to think of security on the Internet as a set of worldwide problems with worldwide solutions. Internet IT is dominated by big points of view. Internet companies are multinationals. Any Internet standard affects billions of people. Big issues, big problems, big solutions. Economy of scale is the central principle of Internet IT. Well, almost all IT. Perhaps not IT security. After I did security for a few years, I began to understand that security is not the commonalities. The, the commonalities are just good IT. Security has to start at the commonalities and go beyond. Security is the exceptions. Security is the unexpected consequences. Then, a couple of years later, I realized that good security requires looking beyond technology. Security is the individual. And if you do security very well, security is the community. What is security? At USU, we have a simple, clear definition of security. It guides everything we do. Security is a meaningful assurance that your goals are being accomplished. This statement enables us to define relevant, achievable security. Security starts at individuals. It doesn't exist in spite of individuals. It is not imposed on individuals. Security only exists if individuals agree that it exists. Security is only relevant when the individual's understanding is based on reality. Relevant security is only meaningful when the universe plays fair. If the crocodile eats you tomorrow, then witch doctor security is just as good as MD doctor security. And witch doctor is a lot cheaper. Much of business security is simply individual security, where the only individual that matters is the controller of the business. To expand the scope of security beyond individuals, you must build communities with common goals, desires, and understanding. Communities have to write their goals down, evaluate them, update them, be aware of them. Without the goals, communities cannot have security. If you are trying to do security for a community, your actions must be auditable by that community. First, to ensure that the actions of security are in line with the goals of the community. Second, to provide the required assurance to that community. And third, to measure the results and see if the actions of security provide meaningful benefits to the community. Also, evaluating the actions of security builds community knowledge and memory and makes your job easier in the long run. Open book test. Pencils ready. If this is security, then how does security break? How is security attacked? How does security die? 
The common belief is that security is destroyed by outside attackers. This does happen, but the attackers are more likely to wear suits than to speak lead. Security is most commonly attacked when somebody convinces you to adopt goals that are not in your best interests. Being able to break security on demand is the holy grail of modern marketing. Frequently security cripples itself before any attacker comes near. Secrecy is to security as strong medicine is to the prescription drug addict. We can't control ourselves. Our access to secrecy must be restricted, our use of secrecy carefully monitored. Some secrecy is justified, but usually the bigger the community, the more damaging the secrecy. Secrecy does not enhance meaningful community security. Secrecy blinds security. Secrecy blinds the community. Secrecy isolates security from its community. Secrecy favors the illegal over the legal, the attacker over the community. But we love secrecy to excess. And after the orgy, the stench of secrecy remains and security is gone. Each lie that IT tells, each fiction that goes undetected or unchallenged, is a cut. Security dies the death of a thousand cuts. The lies sound so innocent. Pain-free computing. Safe web browsing. Apples don't, don't have security problems. Antivirus will de detect and remove compromise. Trusted computing. The more I pay, the more it must be worth. Security is more important than the thing it's trying to protect. Vendors share our interests. The government will save us. With each lie, each self-inflicted cut, we bleed a little more. We lose resources. We lose the ability to tell truth from fiction. We lose community trust. Eventually we are so weak we can't change. We bleed and our community doesn't know why. Security dies and we can't tell that it's dead. Dead security becomes an undead monster. It shambles across the landscape, spreading a poisonous miasma of fear and lies. It harms all other attempts at security. Okay, pencils down. End of test. Now, where was I? Ah. How does USU try to do meaningful IT security? Well, we try to be more transparent and open than any other security group. We have a candy jar. <laughs> it's a budgeted item for us. If you don't like candy, you can play with the toys. We are in SEER 301. It's a big room, lots of cubicles. Feel free to visit. We will give you the tour, explain our tools, and try to answer your questions. Uh, let's jump back to that wiki page for a moment. This is USU IT security wiki. We document our processes, our actions, the interesting incidents, our brainstorming, and our mistakes. An outsider can see a few of these pages, but a member of our community can log in and see almost every page. Some pages start with limited visibility, but eventually every page is available to our community. Our hidden agenda is to make every member of our community a security analyst. They need these skills and knowledge to survive. Universities are weird. USU is weirder than most. 
For years we have told them exactly what we are doing, exactly what we are thinking, and they haven't fired us. Yet, attacks against USU are documented on Sing Sing. We try to document, block, and report every detected attack. Six years ago when we started reporting the attack, the response was depressing. Only about 10% of the reports appeared to get anywhere. Now about 50% of the reports seem to make a difference. Now we have a good idea how USU is attacked and how the attacks have changed over the years. We even have some idea who is attacking us and we've helped a lot of people with compromised computers. We share this information with our peers and law enforcement. It helps to guide our preparations. When we have a security incident we handle it in two ways. Normal incidents are documented here on Disabled. They follow a predictable life cycle that is facilitated by USU's service desk. The identifying information on this page has been obscured. Our community sees everything. Significant incidents are documented on the security wiki. Those incidents require additional care and follow-up. You will notice that most of our routine actions fall into three categories. Hacked computers, copyright complaints, and systems with critical vulnerabilities. Most of these users are blissfully unaware. They don't know that the Russian Mafia or the copyright lawsuit industry are trying to take advantage of them. They don't know that they've failed at system administration. They're not anchored in reality. We try to bring them up to speed as gently as possible. But it is not in USU's or even in their own interest to encourage ignorance. The USU Security Group communicates with our community in open mailing lists and in monthly public meetings. The disagreements are frequent. The debate is active. Some of the time the security loses. And that is usually a good thing. Our security team is smart, but USU does a lot of fundamental research. We are doing something wrong if some of our people aren't smarter than the security group. If our community isn't successfully challenging security's decisions, it's time to approach the regents and give back the funding. At that point, we might as well be a trade tech. If security can override opposition when the opposition is right, then security has betrayed our community. What is a university for? What are USU's goals? How can USU security support these goals? In broad strokes, USU has three goals, three ambitions. First, push back the darkness, advance civilization. Second, create educated, inquiring minds. And third, survive. The world has plenty of darkness. The Internet has more security problems than ever before. There is plenty to do for everybody. At USU we have tried a few crazy things. Some of them seem to be working. Maybe one of our crazy ideas might help you. Feel free to check out USU's security wiki page, our blog, and our other YouTube videos. If we mindlessly embrace unevaluated security measures, we fail our communities. If we use secrecy to hide from our communities, we deserve to be fired. If we do this right, we help improve the world.